Okay, now we have finished setting up these material channels. Next, I'm gonna show you how to add an ID to each cloud individually. In this way, each cloud can be dealt with color correction during compositing. It will be more conducive to compositing. Let me demonstrate how to use the CryptoMat channel by a simple project. This is a simple scene I built. There are four volumes here. This is a rendered image. When someone gets this image and needs to correct colors for one of the volumes, they can only extract this value by drawing a mask during compositing. But if it's a very complicated scene, there are thousands of volumes in it, and they are interlaced with each other. In this case, it's pretty hard to deal with it by drawing a mask. However, the crypto mat can separate each volume in the whole scene. Okay, let's see how to set it up. Open the gear option. Select the second item. Search for a user here. There is a user under the mantra level added to the right. Hit apply and accept. Set up the other three volumes in the same way. Then we can see a user here. Add a property to the four volumes respectively. Switch the type to string. We need to set the name of the property here. Later, when we set up a mantra, it needs to be the same with the name in mantra. We add such a name to each volume separately. The string value below also needs a name. We can keep it the same with the property name above. Then deal with each volume in the same way. Come to Mantra. Under the images, there is a crypto mat. We add a crypto mat layer. There are two ways for crypto mat to separate channels. One is based on material, the other is based on object. The object refers to each geometry under the object module. The material refers to each material under the material module. By default, the channels are separated by material. We switch it to by object. Then CryptoMat will automatically recognize how many geometries are being rendered under the object module. Then distribute the ID for each geometry. Back to Mantra. There is an overlap limit here. It controls the times which CryptoMat can overlap. We can keep the default 6 when rendering the volume type. If it's the model type, you can lower it a bit. But I still suggest you keep it at 6. Below, there is a different file. It can store the CryptoMat channel separately. You can save it to the path you want. If it's not checked, the crypto mat channel will be automatically stored in the image layer. There is one more thing we need to pay attention to. If we want to see crypto mat, we have to save the images to disk. Here I keep the default render path. Let's render a picture and take a look. Okay, it's done. Then open the image. Here in the channel layers, we can see crypto material. CryptoMat gives each volume a color. In this way, it's workable to extract one of the volumes individually. All right, back to Houdini. Just now, we distributed the color based on object. Now, let's see how to do it based on material. Switch it to material. Hide these volumes. I have several volumes here. They are in one geometry. In this case, if we still separate channels based on object, only one color is distributed to the four volumes. Thus, the volumes cannot be separated individually. So we need to do it based on material. Here I added a material for each volume. Then we get back to object. We can also check the previous four volumes. 
shift its position. Okay, let's set it up in Mantra. Here we add another crypto meta layer, switch it to object. Now we have added two ways. One is object, the other is material. Modify the name of the channel, render it again. Open this image. Here you can see there are more layers now. The crypto materials and the crypto objects. Switch it to object mode. Here you can see the crypto mat still separates each geometry. These four volumes have different colors. The other four volumes have the same color. Switch it to crypto material. We can see the color of the four volumes, which was the same just now, is different here. Besides, the color of the previous four volumes is different as well. The crypto material is to separate channels based on the different materials you use. Let's get back to the software. There is another situation here. We have an instance here. There are a lot of small clone balls in it. In order to distinguish each volume channel while using instance, we don't need to add material to each volume separately. CryptoMat can automatically identify the object of instance. We only need to set it to the object mode in Mantra, then it automatically separates each volume. Turn off the second layer below, render it again. Let's take a look at its channel. Now the color of each sphere is different. So if we separate the channels based on instance, it will be very convenient to separate the crypto mat channel in compositing. In addition, you can also customize the crypto mat channel by the name of the property. We need to input the property name added for each volume just now into the crypto mat channel in Mantra. Open these four volumes again. Hide the instance. Shift their position to the center. We input the property name to the crypto mat channel layer in Mantra. Turn off the first layer. Then we add another four layers. Input the names of the four properties here. Let's render it again. Open the rendered image on the disk. Here we can find the layer name we just set. The first one is Taurus. This is Tube, Sphere, and Box. Now the CryptoMath added a layer for each volume separately. All right, that's all for the CryptoMath channel setting. Let's add CryptoMath channels to the sink.